Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I did last week to create the 3D assets to put into Photoshop using Blender. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramini. I'm a French photographer living in Los Angeles. And in this video, I want to teach you how to use Blender, which is a free software to get some 3D assets into Photoshop. My purpose on this YouTube channel is to help you become a better fine art artist, being able to have you work in galleries, make money out of your passion, or just get a better exposure. I struggled so much when I started, and now I have a great success with you know, over 85 galleries around the world and five coffee table books. But I think it's vital to master really well Lightroom and Photoshop and find crazy ideas and creative things. So. I've been trying to use Blender for many, many years. I'm really bad at it. Just a warned up, very, very bad at it. But I'm gonna to try to show you how I use it to put 3D elements into my Photoshop. So all those versions were really hard to use, but recently they came up with version 2.8, which is in beta test. So all you have to do is go to blender.org, click on download Blender 2.79b. That's not the version that you want because I find 2.8 is a lot easier to use. You click here, try Blender 2.8 Beta. So it's in beta version, but it's been in beta for months, so it's kind of getting stable. It used to crash a lot, and that doesn't crash that much on me at least. And then you just download it. Once you've downloaded, which I've done already, so once you've downloaded it, you unzip the file, and then you take the Blender, you, you take the Blender file, which I already did, and you drop and drop it into application. Then you launch the Blender.app. Now, the first time you do it, on, at least on a Mac, you might get a warning saying, Cannot open, you know, cannot open because it is from an unidentified developer. You press OK, and then you go to here, System Preference, and you go into Security and Privacy. And you see, you see it says here, Blender app was blocked from opening because it is not from an identified developer. You click on Open anyway. It's, uh, it took me a little while, so you click Open a second time. It took me a little while to figure that out, but eventually, the beta version is going to launch. Okay, now, how do you get assets into Blender? And by the way, yeah, I'm gonna put the link to three YouTube channels down below, which I really love. One is Andrew from Blender Guru. He's really amazing. He's kind of like the, the leader of Blender around the world, has great tutorials. CG Git, I think he's amazing too. He's got really great projects. And there's a new uh, Duck 3D that I love a lot. I'm gonna put the link if you really want to get into 3D or do more stuff, you gotta learn Blender, it's amazing. Okay, so here I am in the software. Now, how am I gonna get the 3D assets to put into Blender? So remember last week, I had this cliff and I wanted to have a rope bridge to go over from one cliff to the other. And I tried to find some uh, stock photos that would have that and I couldn't find any. So I said, all right, I'm gonna do it in 3D. So what you can do is you can go to um, Blender, blendswap.com it's completely free you create an account and people are sharing some of their assets there's thousands and thousands of 3d objects that you can use for free and most of the time all you have to do is do a shout out so for example i can go here and click on search search in blends and um, i'm going to click the cycle engine cycle engine is basically what we're going to be using so i'm going to uh, write rope bridge because that's what i'm looking for i want a rope bridge Okay, and you can see there is a whole bunch of assets and I found this called Rob Bridge. You click on it and it says this one is um, license is CC0. So CC0, you can do whatever you want with it. I'm gonna download it, which I've already have downloaded. Okay, so now I'm gonna go to Blender and open the file. So uh, file, open. I'm gonna click on the Rob Bridge Blend and click open Blender files, okay? And that's what it looks like. So if you want to navigate around Blender, uh, you can use the, the middle mouse to zoom in and out. That's what I do. And you can see, and you can click on the middle mouse and you really should have a mouse that has a middle button to really use Blender properly because otherwise it doesn't really work really well. And you can see, I can click here and I can just sort of move around uh, the scene. Now, I don't want the land that he created. So I'm gonna click on the land, cl click here, and I'm gonna press X and delete. Click here on, on this, click X and delete. Okay, now the problem is that I want the sun, I want this to be back led, okay? So 
By default in Blender, you have one light that's there. I mean, you had one light. You can see here, that's one light. You can click on it and select it. Now, to move something around in Blender, you have to press the G key. So G and I can move my sun around. I'm going to put the sun here behind the bridge. And warning, I'm really new at this. And if you press here one, two, three, or seven, you can have different views of your scene, okay? So I'm the, I can see here that uh, the, 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 the sun is behind it. So I'm just gonna move it around. I just wanna make sure that I move my sun so that it, I can move it around so it, it really is behind my bridge. So one, where's my bridge? My bridge is here, okay. The sun is really far, so I'm going to bring it closer to the bridge so that we can see what we, to the center of the universe. Now, if you need to pan things, you can hold on the shift key and the middle mouse, and then you can pan things around. Okay, so my bridge is here. And now I would like that's the direction of the sun. I want the sun to go toward the bridge. So I'm going to press R and just rotate toward the bridge and G and make... Uh, now I should be back led, which is what I want. Okay, now if you want to see what it looks like, you can click here, and that's going to actually, uh, or here, on these two things, it's, it's, make, it's going to make a little render of, of the scene, okay? Now, the way I want to look at it, I'm going to rotate it, the way I want to look at it is something like this. Uh, like this, maybe a little bit like this. Yeah, that's the view that I want. Let me zoom in to make sure that I am backlit, yeah? I'm totally not backlit. You can see the sun is here, so that's fine. I can just also turn around the bridge. So I am in the right direction. No, it's not backlit properly. I can see there is an issue there. So why? Okay, as I said, I'm really bad at this. You know what? I'm going to make my sun stronger. So you can click here and click on this little lamp here. And I'm going to make this sun like maybe 20. Yeah. So now I can see better what it's doing and I can rotate it. Okay, and I'm just rotating. I don't want, you see here, the bridge is fully led. I just, I want the bridge to be backlit, something like this so that it's not full on. And I can see here, okay, you can see on this side now, the sun is there, and on this side, the sun is not there. That's what I want. I want the backlight, I finally managed it. So you just rotate the sun until it looks like what you want. Okay, and again, you know, I'm moving around using the middle mouse. I'm zooming in using the middle mouse, and uh, you just position it like you want. I wanted something like this. Now, we have to tell the camera, see there's a camera here, and we have to tell the camera that that's the view we want. So for this, is a shortcut in Blender, which is Control alt 0 Okay, when you press Control alt 0 you can see in gray, that's gonna be my render. Now, I want to have the full bridge, okay? So, what you have to do is bring a menu that's on the, a panel, sorry, that's on the right side by pressing N, okay? And in the view section, you have something called um, lock camera to view. And you lock that. What that means is now anything you do with your mouse is going to be what you're going to see. And so I can press shift and the middle mouse to basically I want to have the full bridge in view. Yeah, that's good. So that's going to be my render. Uh, I can see the bridge is there. I can take that off now and now I can zoom in and I can see that that's what the render is going to look like is this. Okay. Now, Basically, that's about it. I'm ready to render. So uh, if you click here, you can choose your render engine. I'm actually going to shift over to EV. EV is a render engine that's uh, real time. It's like a game engine. It's much faster. Okay. And um, so that, that's good. Now, I want to add a character in this scene. I want to have like an archer onto the bridge. Okay. So for this, I'm going to go to a website called Mixamo. So Mixamo is a free website. You can create a free account. You don't have to be a Creative member. It belongs to Adobe and it's so fun. So the way it works is basically you can click here on characters and you can choose a character. You can take anything like, you know, like a mutant or use this character or they have so many things. So, and then you can just, you know, play around with it in 3D and go around and give them different moves. So I'm in, for this one, I'm going to use uh, the uh, Archer, um, which is this one. And then you click here on animation and you can choose different type of animation. And you can see in real time the animation is happening. So uh, maybe it was shooting an arrow. I think I used something like shooting. And uh, yeah, that's the one I used. 
Okay, so you see, you can see the animation. Okay, now I want to get this character into Blender. Well, it's really easy. You click on download and you have to use not the FBX format, but the Colada format. Okay, Colada is what is going to work in Blender. And it's crazy, all that is completely free. So click on download. So I'm putting it on, on my desktop. I'm gonna unzip it by clicking on it. And now I'm gonna go back to Blender where I have my bridge here. I'm gonna click here on the cursor, put the cursor here uh, where I want the, the character to be. And I go to File, Import, Colada. I'm gonna to go to my desktop, shooting arrow, and what you're looking for is the shooting arrow.dae file. Click on import. So you can see that uh, my, uh, my character is way too big. So all you have to do is press S for scale and move your mouse, just like the rotate or anything, move your mouse, oops, until it gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Okay, now G to move it and place it, I'm gonna place it here, but you see he's in the wrong position. I want to rotate him, so I'm gonna zoom in with the, the middle mouse. Okay, I'm gonna press shift and pan to pan. Okay, he's still way too big, he's still way too big because I want the hands to be just below the rope, so I'm gonna press S, I'm gonna click, keep on scaling, 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 scaling. Uh, it's not so small, something like that. Okay, that's kind of cool. But now I want to rotate him. Okay, without getting into a complex explanation, you, you just press R for rotate and Z for rotating on the Z axis. The Z axis is up. So if you press Z and then you move your mouse, you can see I'm rotating him. You can see in blue is the Z axis and I'm gonna put him into a position, something like that. Okay. But you see here, his hands, is, he's not shooting anymore because we drag and drop an animation. You can see by default, I've got the different animations here. So, okay, so first to see the animation, you press on this. Uh, I have an old MacBook Pro, that's why it's a little slow. And um, so here is, make sure that you have start and end. Start is at one, end was at 200. For some reason, I changed that. And you can press play and you can see in real time the animation of the character and you find a pose that you like and you can stop it, freeze it. I like that pose here, okay? And now I'm gonna press again R, Z and rotate it on the Z axis. I wanna see both of these arms. Okay, good, so that's the rotate that I want and then I, you can press R again and just rotate him a little bit so he's like, he's going on the bridge. Okay, that's good, I like that. So now we added a character, he's on the right position, he's on the bridge. You can see that my render is gonna be that. If you, uh, actually I think I, th I should zoom in on the render so I can click lock to camera view again and just zoom in a little bit. Yeah, and then shift and middle mouse to pan my scene. I'm just gonna make it in the center. Okay, so now I wanna make sure that the bridge renders, that the character renders, let me show you what it looks like on a preview. So if you click here, uh, you're gonna get an actual preview render Okay, make sure if you zoom in, you take lock camera to view out so you can zoom in on your scene. And uh, so, I mean, it's all backlit, so we don't see much, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, that's good. Uh, I'm happy with that. So now I want to render this so that the character and the bridge is rendered and everything else is transparent. And so in EV to do that, yeah, you have to go here where there is a printer, you go to film and you have to, uh, when it comes to sky, you have to click here and go to transparent. This way, all which is gray is gonna be transparent and the 3D object is gonna render, the bridge is gonna render, but nothing else, okay? Next, let's go here into this little printer settings and I'm gonna print, yeah, 1920. I'm actually gonna do it in 4K, so I'm gonna print 200% because 200% of 19 by 10, 1920 by 1080 is 4K. Okay, so that's good. And uh, let's see here, if I'm not forgetting something. Yeah, that's basically it. And I'm gonna go to render, render image. All right, so now we have the render. We need to make sure that you, we have it in PNG, meaning we only have the 3D object and everything else is transparent. So for this, make sure you are on composite. Then you go here and you choose color and alpha. 
And you can see here, we have transparency and we have the archer and the bridge. And you go to image, save as, and make sure you click on RGDBA. It stands for alpha. If you don't do that, you won't have the alpha. Alpha is just the transparency that so we only have the 3D objects. And I'm gonna go to Archer, put it on the desktop as a PNG. And if I go onto my desktop, you can see here, uh, it's a PNG. And now in Photoshop, and so now in Photoshop, so that was last week's tutorial, I can go to File, I can go to Place Embedded, and take my file, archer.png, and uh, because it's a PNG, I can put it anywhere, and it's super high resolution, and basically that's what I did last week. You gotta watch last week's video, the link is at the end of this video or below the video, so you can see sort of part one of this tutorial. And, and voila, and, you know, and that's, that was the final result. I really, like, I really like the image of this archer crossing. And basically using the same technique, I did this image, so this is just a landscape that I did. So I blurred the image, and using the same technique, I added this character from Mixamo. Uh, you know, I made it match. I did some final retouching, and basically voila. So it's a really fun and easy way. You go to Blender Swap, you grab whatever 3D things you want, and through Blender, you render it with the technique that I showed you and you put it into Photoshop and the sky is the limit. Okay, I'm sorry if I'm not super good at Blender, I'm really learning, but I really wanna share this with you guys because I think art is for everyone and whether you're a photographer or an illustrator, this is great techniques to master. Check out Blender also if you like 3D because it's really a free way to get into 3D and there are some really great guys out there that will teach it for you. Make sure you watch part one of this tutorial, which was last Tuesday, where I show you all the Photoshop manipulation. Now that you know the 3D, you can put both together and create anything. Thank you very much for watching and click and watch that first part.